Hey guys, Edog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today we are hopping back onto Merge Planes for part 213. I really, really hope you guys are enjoying this series lately. Like I said in the last Merge Plane video, I am going to try to post as many Merge Plane videos as I possibly can whenever I get the chance. Because like I've told you guys multiple times, the game is actually on my mom's phone. So whenever I can actually take her phone and record the video, I will. Uh, but I won't be able to do that all the time. And I did try to f fix this flickering glitch and it wasn't doing it when I was testing it. Um, but it looks like it may be doing it now. I really, really do apologize. I've been trying to fix some of the glitches that have been going on lately. Um, just, I don't know. Like, I tried to fix it. It went away. But it looks, I thought I saw it flicker. Maybe not. Um, but let's get right into today's episode. So we've earned 183,000 AA from offline earnings. So you guys know we're kind of still used to getting so much offline earnings because we used to leave our phone on all the time, literally 24-7. And we would earn... We would basically be getting a 24 hour booster every single day and you guys know that thing is worth 225 gems which is insane. Uh, but we'll multiply it by 3 for 5 gems. We're not going to purchase the membership. I saw a few of you guys actually commented on the last video saying you guys don't actually have the membership either. Um, so I'm glad to see that I'm not the only one that thinks their prices are absolutely crazy and way way overpriced. Glad to see that I'm not the only person thinking that. and. Honestly, like I kind of want to give some tips just in case they are watching this video on how they could, I guess, make it a little bit better. But honestly, I, I think the only thing they can really do is reduce the price. To be honest, I think if it was a one-time payment, even if the one-time payment was, let's say, $20 or something, that is quite expensive. Um, but still, it's a one-time payment. You pay it once, you don't have to worry about it again. Um, just There's just something about um, monthly payments, or in this case, weekly payments it's just it's driving me away from the thought of purchasing a membership and i don't know if that's the same for you guys but i totally think if it was a one-time payment depending on obviously the cost of it i would probably go ahead and purchase it because it does have some good benefits but like i said i mean i just can't get the thought through my hand my mind paying seven dollars us every single week <coughs> which is actually crazy, crazy expensive um, for, I guess, what you're getting. I feel like they have a good balance of what you're getting. I don't think they need to increase any of that stuff. Like, if they were to keep it this price, I, I honestly, I don't want them to increase, let's say, your speed or your offline earnings or anything like that anymore because it almost make the game too easy. It would almost make it go too quick. I did have the membership. I did the free trial. I actually really, really liked it, but... Again, I just couldn't get the, th the thought through my mind paying that much per week. So honestly, the only suggestion that I can give is reduce the price or at least make it a one-time payment. Don't be charging us weekly for things. But I'm done rambling on about that. Let's focus more on the game. So right off the bat, as you guys can see, we're earning 25000 nearly 26000 trillion. So that's not too bad. Um, I really wish I would have been able to get a little bit more offline earnings that we actually did. We do have 1000 AB though, which does give us enough to actually go ahead and purchase the 42 level plane, which I will go ahead and do. Fortunately, we didn't get um, the offer to upgrade it to a 43 by watching an ad. But now we need to get over 300,000 AA in offline earnings, which shouldn't be too difficult. Because this episode, we got 180 some and then we multiplied it by three. So we got quite a bit of offline earnings there. So we should be able to get the next plane as well. But if we would have got just a little bit more, we maybe would have been able to spend some money today um, on other planes and stuff like that. But I don't want to go ahead and spend some money because I really, really want to make sure every single episode we can go on and purchase the most expensive plane. Because I mean, if you're not doing that you're going to be missing out on a lot of progress. I mean, each time we go ahead and purchase a level 42 plane, we get roughly around 4% um, towards our next plane. So we're currently at 69.1%. Not too bad at all. And just from that one plane, we don't have two times speed. We don't have five times earnings. We're now earning $27,100 trillion. I just mentioned how we were earning $25,900. So we already went up like what? $1,200 trillion? Not too bad at all from one singular plane. We can actually double check that. <clears throat> so 70, oh, 77,000 
billion a second. Okay, so it shouldn't have went up as much as it did. I Oh, because we merged the two planes. Sorry, my bad. We merged the two planes and we can't... So we actually went up $163,000 billion a second. Which still doesn't make sense. I, I don't know why we're at way more money than we were before. Well, maybe because we got more... I, I really don't know what's going on here. Maybe those, those um, numbers are wrong. The ones that it's actually giving us in the shop. I'm not too sure, but I mean, I just mentioned that we were at 25,900, and now we're at 27,100, and we don't, we didn't watch an ad for two times speed or anything like that, so I really don't know what's going on. But we will go ahead and do a lucky spin here, and actually, I really, really, really want to check out the leaderboard. I think we forgot to do that last episode, and I want to see where we are, where we're at still, because obviously we're not playing as much as we used to before. Well, two things. First of all, we're not earning one, or we're not basically getting a 24-hour boost every single episode, and we're barely playing compared to what we used to do. Every single day, we would play merge planes, and we were progressing quite well until we got to kind of rank 10, uh, or sorry, rank 11, 12. We started to slow down a lot. There was big, big gaps in between each other. So we really started to slow down during that point, but I mean, it really, really helped that we were getting basically a 24 hour boost every single day. Um, sometimes we actually purchased even another 24 hour boost. We basically got 48 hours worth of offline income um, in one episode, which is just crazy, crazy insane. Um, so now not playing as much and not getting 24 hour boost every single episode definitely, definitely hurt us. But I want to see if anybody's actually close to passing us because I remember when we first, or when we stopped playing this, we were basically the only, well, people were very, very far behind us. We were getting fairly close to rank 10. Um, but I kind of want to see where we're at right now. We'll go ahead and do our third spin in a little bit here. We got five times earnings. We got two times speed. Not too bad. Going to be earning us quite a bit of money from this, actually. Um, but first, we'll go ahead and we will watch an ad here quick for the level 40 play because you know we got to be watching as many of these as possible. We got to get three an episode. I really, really hope we can get all three. If not, I'll just watch the other ad offline. Um, but yeah, I'm really curious to see how close we actually are to rank 10. I'm wondering if the people that are in rank 10 currently have been playing because I remember when we were playing every single day, it didn't really look like they were moving up or progressing at all. Um, so it, it would be really, I'm really curious to see, have we caught up to them at all or have they just kept playing and blew by us? So I want to see, I believe we... I mean, I could be just throwing out numbers, but I believe we were around like 3,000 AB away from them when we um, left. I don't know for sure. I'm doing a rough estimate there, but I do want to kind of see how far we are away right now. There we go. We got a 40 level plane. We'll throw that guy up there. There we go. And we'll go and merge or we'll throw all those guys on there. Earning now 54,000 trillion a second without five times earnings. This is only two times speed. But let's take a look here. So earnings per second we just went through. Total earnings is at 11,094 AB. So I want to do a rough estimate of saying they were at around 12.5,000 AB. Um, so they're at 14. Could have been true. Maybe they're around 13. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure. Um, <clears throat> 14, 13 sounds about right. Uh, but we're at 11,000, so we are still quite a ways away from them. And it is going to take quite a while. <clears throat> Even with a 24-hour boost, we're getting around 2,500 AB. So that would put us actually really, really close to them just from one day of offline earnings, which would be insane. If we take a look again... <clears throat> We were always competing with Anthony. We were really, really close at one point. Honestly, it doesn't look like he's played that much, to be honest. He's way, way behind us. Even though he's only a few um, ranks down, three ranks below us, he is way, way below us. We're about 22 times um, the amount of money that we've made total compared to him. <clears throat> but, I mean, if we keep going... Um, I feel like we will eventually pass them. Obviously, it would really, really help if we could get a 24-hour times boost. We are getting fairly close. To be honest, we're at 147 gems. We need 225. So if we can go ahead and get 20 gems from these spins here. Like I said in the last episode, the only way we're really making gems 
is from the spins and completing the odd quest here and there. Um, tournaments are super, super unreliable. Last time I played, I got like top, what was it, like top five or something. I should have got a decent amount of gems and I didn't get any. It just, honestly, it acted like I didn't even play the tournament or the tournament didn't even exist. Didn't tell me that I got anything for playing. It didn't even tell me what place I came in. Normally, if even if you don't play, if you just go onto the event and um, merge one plane, whatever, and then go out, it will say, okay, well, you placed 260th. Um, so I, I don't know what happened there. It just basically acted like we never, ever participated in the event, which we did. And we got very, very high and it's done this multiple times before. So honestly, I'm kind of just giving up on events at this point. There is a space truck event on right now. I'm honestly not even going to participate anymore. As you can see, there is a lot of people that are like, this guy has more money in the event that's only been on today, Saturday at time of recording this. This event started about 20 hours ago, 24 hours ago, whatever. <laughs> this guy has already made way more money than we have in our main area in this event. That's just how much, I guess, gems people spend. Obviously, that is not possible. We've spent so much time in this game. There's no way he can come on in like 24 to 30 hours and just pass us in our normal area, which is ridiculous. People spend a ton of gems, but he is getting rewarded if he stays in first place with 300 gems. So as long as he's not spending over 300 gems, he's still making gems. So it's kind of a smart tactic, <clears throat> but at the same time, I really, really wish, I've said this multiple times before, wish they would just get rid of spending gems, get rid of boosts in the events. Honestly, I wish they would do that, uh, but that's just my opinion. Guys, I'm going to have to go ahead and end this merch playing video here. If you guys have enjoyed another video, go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.